What's up guys welcome back to yet another video. Since Google have released Android 12, most users who are into custom ROM are waiting for Pixel Experience ROM. So in this video, we have Pixel ROM based on Android 12 available for OnePlus 7 series. So let's take a quick look and we'll also tell you how stable it is to be used as daily driver. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my OnePlus 7 Pro on which I have installed Pixel Experience ROM and I've been using this ROM since yesterday. Let me show you the software information. Here you can see under build number it says Pixel Experience based on Android 12 and the security patch is of 5th November 2021. And if you guys wish to install it on your device, at the end of this video you can find the installation guide of Pixel Experience on OnePlus 7 series. I have personally extracted all the boot images so that it becomes easy for you guys to install it. And also guys, let's keep a like target of 300 likes on this video. And we have 80% of users who haven't subscribed to our channel. So it's a humble request, do consider subscribing and also press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Before talking about the stability of this ROM, here are the benchmark results. With Geekbench application, single core have scored 716 and multi core have scored 2175. With Antutu benchmark application, device have scored 5,70,410 and pretty good scores on my OnePlus 7 Pro. And we have also started reviewing the custom rooms. So soon you'll see a complete review about Pixel experience for OnePlus 7 series, in which we'll cover stuff like battery backup, gaming test, and the performance part. So stay tuned for that and also drop me a comment if you want any specific topic to be covered on this custom room. As said, I have been using this custom room on my OnePlus 7 Pro since yesterday and I haven't faced any kind of major issues yet. But keep one thing in mind, these are not stable custom rooms as of now. So you might face some of the other issues here and there. As you all know, Pixel Experience room comes with few Pixel goodies. So same thing applies here. We have the live wallpapers from Pixel 6 series. And those live wallpapers can also be customized as per your requirements. So here we have an option to customize in which you can adjust the blur effect and other stuff. And system also adapts to the wallpaper color for theming part. And these wallpapers from Pixel 6 series do have bit of motion. Later we also have this live translate feature on this Pixel Experience ROM. From the recent panel, you can directly make the selection of text. But we don't get to see the feature where we had the ability to copy images or URLs directly from the recents panel. Yesterday, soon I installed this Pixel Experience ROM on my OnePlus 7 Pro. Initially, I faced bit of jitters, but after that, nothing appeared. That was only after the first boot and later, the ROM seems to be stable enough. Basic functionalities works pretty fine, but you'll see one bug here on the lock screen. It says slow charging. Though you don't have to worry about the charging speed, device doesn't take much of time to charge. And it takes a similar time to charge what I have seen on Oxygen OS 11. Calling did not have any kind of issues. I'm using two SIM cards. One is Geo and the second one is Airtel. Volte services and Wi-Fi calling works perfectly fine. No issues to be seen with alert slider. You'll see only one issue and that's related to the system profile icon while switching between system profiles using alert slider. The icon in the status bar only appears when your device is in silent mode. Roam comes with a basic AOSP camera, but I'll leave a camera APK in the description below and that camera is from OnePlus. This is the stock OnePlus camera application and it works perfectly fine on any custom Roam. Alternatively, if you want to try out Google camera applications, you can join our telegram group where I'll provide you the link of Google camera for OnePlus 7 series. All the sensors seems to be working great like accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass and gyroscope. We'll test gyroscope more properly while doing a gaming test. Fingerprint unlock is quite fast, I haven't noticed any kind of delay while unlocking the device. Also things like Wi-Fi bands, both the bands 2GHz and 4GHz did not give me any kind of issues yet. For Bluetooth, I've tested my Realme Buds Air 2. Gestures like double tap to wake, lift to wake the device and always on display does their job pretty well. And this is the first battery backup after I have installed Pixel Experience ROM. Where you can see the screen on time is 3 hours and 23 minutes. And as I always say, screen on time depends on many factors. So every individual have a different screen on time or you can say battery backup. On Paranoid Android, we were not having this game dashboard feature from Android 12, but on Pixel Experience, you get to see this feature. This feature gives you few extra abilities while gaming. Like you can check out the FPS, also do screen recording. And if you want, you can directly stream over the YouTube. We have perfectly working one handed mode. And if for some reason, one-handed mode doesn't work with the gesture, you can also use the shortcut for one-handed mode. 
and as I said earlier, this ROM can be used as daily driver. If you guys wish to install Pixel Experience on your OnePlus 7 series, then now you can follow the installation guide. To install Pixel Experience ROM on your OnePlus 7 series, make sure your device bootloader is unlocked and you are running on the latest build of Oxygen OS. After that, on your PC, you will be requiring these two files. One is the boot image and the second one is Pixel Experience ROM. I'll extract all the boot images from the ROM and provide you the links in the description below. You can just download those boot images and follow the instructions from this video. This is the boot image for my OnePlus 7 Pro. For example, you have OnePlus 70 Pro. So make sure to use the boot image of OnePlus 70 Pro. And here, let me show you on my device. I'm running the latest stable version of Oxygen OS, which was 11.0.4.1. And my device bootloader is unlocked. Before installing Pixel Experience ROM, make sure you take a backup of your device. And for those who are not aware about unlocking the bootloader, I'll leave the video guide in the description below. Just follow that guide and unlock the bootloader of your device. Now let's reboot a device into fast boot mode. So a device have been successfully booted into fast boot mode. Under device state, you can see device is unlocked. Now on our PC, we need to open up command prompt. Make sure you download the latest platform tools from the description below. And you need to place these two files inside the platform tools. We already have these two files here. So let's open up command prompt here in the platform tools by typing CMD in the address bar, hit enter. And now first you need to check whether your device is properly connected in fast boot mode or not. For that, give a command fast boot devices and hit enter. This should show the serial number. That means your device is properly connected in fast boot mode. And if by chance you guys are not able to see anything after giving the command fast boot devices, then I'll leave a video link in the description below. That video can be used to fix the issues related to ADB, Fastboot or Qualcomm drivers. And now we need to flash this boot image. So for that, give a command Fastboot flash boot and later drag and drop the boot image. Now hit enter. Once this process is completed successfully, now reboot your device into recovery. Use the volume keys to navigate. As you can see here on the top, it says start. We'll use the volume key and navigate to recovery mode. Make a selection using power key. And now you can see we have booted our device into pixel experience recovery. For once, just perform factory reset. And after that, go back, tap on apply update, apply from ADB. ADB side load followed by the ROM. So just drag the ROM file and drop it here. Hit enter. And now the process have been started. The installation process might take around 5 to 6 minutes. Installation process would be completed at around 47 to 48%. If you don't get any kind of errors, that means you are good to go and now you can boot your device. Before booting the device, once again make sure to perform a factory reset. Once that's done, now you can reboot your device. Here we have the boot animation of Pixel Experience ROM on a OnePlus 7 Pro and our device have been successfully booted into system. So guys, this was a quick look and the installation guide of Pixel Experience ROM based on Android 12. If you still have any kind of questions, you can let me know in the comment section below and also you can join our Telegram group if you face any kind of issues. As of now, only this much in this video. I hope you guys like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. Also, if you are new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.